Hi everyone, this is Prachi Agarwal. Welcome to our channel Code Shift. If you're interested in learning computer science and data structures and want to learn competitive programming, then you've come to the right place because here we post to Code Shift problem explanations and conceptual videos on various programming paradigms. So please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for the upcoming updates. Now that you have subscribed, let's get started. Today we'll be solving the problem red alert, which is a cakewalk problem and belongs to the July lunchtime. Now let us see the problem statement. Now this problem statement says that there will be rain for the in upcoming days and uh, initially the water level of the city will be zero. Now as and when the rain happens, so uh, gradually the water level of the city will increase depending on the amount of rain that has happened. So that will be given in the form of an array that uh, at each day, how much millimeter of rain has happened. Now we are given some conditions here, uh, like if uh, the rain that has happened at a particular day is greater than zero, then the water of the city will increase by that much millimeter. Then if the rain has happened, uh, that has happened on a particular day is zero, then uh, then what will happen the water level of the city will decrease by d millimeters but there is one more condition that if the water level of the previous day that is if today is the third day then the water level of the second day if it is less than d millimeters then uh, the rain will actually become zero then the water level will become zero for the third day now the condition that decides that where whether it, there will be a now we have to find out whether there will be a red alert in the city and the condition which decides that is uh, that the rain or the water level has to be greater than h millimeters on at least one day then there will be a red alert. Uh, so this is a very simple problem and uh, we'll just uh, read each line of the problem and uh, do the code along there's nothing as such to explain it's just the if else conditions that you have to apply in a correct manner. And uh, let us see the input format so that we can directly jump to the code. So input format is first for the number of test cases we have to take input. Then for each test case, we'll take input for N, D and H parameters. And uh, then we'll have a um, space separated N integers, which will give us the rain that has happened on each particular day. And the output will be either yes or no, depending on the fact that whether there will be a red alert or not. So guys, here we'll be reading each and every condition that's given and we'll be doing the, uh, I'll be explaining the code along. So that way it will be easier to remember what is actually given in this question because there are uh, some conditions, means more than two, three conditions. So uh, first we are taking input in the first few lines as you can see. So we've taken input for NDH for the number of test cases and then uh, we are also in this line number 10. We are taking input for the water level that will be there on each day. After we have taken all the inputs, so I have initialized this uh, these two variables. That is, one is flag and one is rain. So rain will keep a check that on each day, uh, how much is the water level of the city based on the conditions that are given here. And flag will keep a check on if there will be a red alert in the city or not. So if any in any particular day, the water level has become greater than H, then we can make our flag one. That means uh, uh, that means there will be a red alert. So starting with this loop, uh, we will check. Now, now the conditions to check is, the first condition is if AI is greater than zero, that is if the water level on a particular day is greater than zero, then uh, the rain will, then the water level will increase by that particular uh, millimeters. Right, so I have added AI to rain because if AI is greater than zero, then it will get added to the water level of the city. Okay, and uh, like mind it, the water level of the city um, earlier is zero. So that's why here rain is equals to zero. Now we'll go to the else part. So if AI is greater than zero is one condition. Otherwise, all other uh, values that will be given for the water level will be, will be uh, uh, put in the else part because it can either be zero or it can be greater than zero right so if it is zero that is going to the else part here we have two conditions to uh, actually keep a check on 
so first condition is that if the water level on the previous day was less than d so the water level of the previous day in the city is this it is stored in this rain because every time this loop is running this rain parameter is getting updated uh, with the latest water level of the city right so for the next uh, like for the next day whenever we are uh, we run this loop and it goes to the else part so this rain parameter has not yet been updated for the current day so it will have the value of the previous day that's why we can directly check if rain is less than d then then our uh, current water level will become zero so we will update rain with zero else if rain is not less than d then what happens that uh, the water level if ai is equals to zero then the water level of city decreases by d millimeters so that's why we are doing rain equals to rain minus d now when we have uh, covered all the conditions the last part to check is that if the current uh, water level of the city is greater than h so if it is then we will make flag equals to one and then we can come out of the loop we can come out of the loop why because it's given that even if on one day the uh, rain is greater than h then there will be a high alert or a red alert so that's why we'll come out of the loop and then we just need to check if flag is one then we'll print yes and if flag is zero then we'll print no so guys this was a very easy problem just using some if else conditions uh, and the code is in c++ and the time complexity uh, will be order of n so guys uh, this is the code and if you've understood then please do like the video if you have any doubts then please post them in the comment section and uh, i'll see you in the next video